I'm immigration attorney Jason Finkelman. Today I'll be talking generally about the L1A non-immigrant visa. The L1A visa is a temporary visa for foreign intra-company transferees. The requirements of the L1A visa are that you, the foreign national, have been working outside the US for one out of the last three years in a managerial or executive capacity, and now your foreign company is creating a US subsidiary, affiliate, or branch office and are transferring you, the foreign national, to work in the US in an executive or managerial capacity. The visa is good for three years initially, plus two two-year extensions for a maximum of seven years. The difference between the L1A visa and the H1B visa is that there's no prevailing wage requirement like there is with the H1B visa, and also there's no issues with a quota, so foreign nationals can apply for an L1A visa at any time during the year. The L1A visa is also a great option for small or startup companies overseas looking to expand their businesses to the US under the new office L1A provision. The new office L1A provision allows a foreign manager or executive to open up a new US subsidiary, affiliate, or branch office of the foreign entity and begin working for that entity for one year initially, plus three two-year extensions thereafter for a maximum of seven years. Spouses of L1A visa holders can apply for an L2 visa, and the great thing about that is L2 visa holders can thereafter apply for employment authorization or work authorization in the US to work wherever they want. The L1A visa is a dual intent visa, which allows foreign nationals to simultaneously seek lawful permanent residence in the US, or a green card, without having to worry about any preconceived issues of intent with their L1A visa. I'm immigration attorney Jason Finkelman. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to me at finkelmanlaw.com if you have any other questions.